Page 29, my fifth. It's at the bottom of the page. Interesting words if you read them. On page 28, talk a little bit about, and we're, here we're dealing with the interval of a fifth. Now, in music, you're going to learn to recognize these intervals at, at a class. You'll just know what they are. Remember I said an interval of a third was two, or the notes were each on a line or each on a space and they were next to each other. And on a keyboard, there are every other note. Third. Well, the, with melodic, it's one after the other. The thirds. Well, if I take a third, and I put another third on top of it. The distance between the top and bottom is a fifth, because three and three is five. Duh. Well, at least in music it is. Hmm. It comes in handy. We're leading into something else later on that you need to understand. If you can understand this, it makes learning that easier. So just know that a fifth, each note is on a line, or each note is on a space, and there is a line or a space in between. That's a fifth. You'll recognize them. Look on my fifth. The last note of the first measure is a C. The first note of the second measure is a G. That's a fifth. They're both on lines, and there's one line in between them. They're easy to recognize is what I'm getting at. You'll, you'll just notice these things from time to time. Now let's look this thing over here. It's two lines long, treble and bass clef, 4-4 four, four time. There's no repeat sound. We're going to play it once. we got half notes and quarter notes and whole notes. we got a quarter rest stuck in there. Okay, that's fine. We can deal with that. Got some dynamics. We'll come back to that later. The speed, this is seriously. I'll come back to that later. So let's just make sure we got the notes and the rhythms first. And we're starting here in the right hand, here. In the left hand, we're here, so we're still in C position. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. You get the idea? Second line. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. See, on beat one there, I was quiet because there's a rest on beat one. And don't let the Beethoven fifth things. The, Beethoven's fifth is referring to his fifth symphony. It has nothing to do with intervals. But yeah, it's a third. Da 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 da. It's, it's an interval of a third he's using, but it's the fifth symphony. Anyway, back to what this was. Once I can do that, then we think about the, the dynamics. Yeah. And again, you're starting out soft. P is free, whatever you think soft is. And then the second line, they give you another P. You don't need that P. You're, you're soft until they give you something else. And this is melody. It's the soft. And then in the third measure of the second line, they give you an F. That's loud. Now they're telling you play it loud. In my opinion, the F belongs between the stands. Just put the dynamic between the stands. And it applies to the melody where it is. And, but it's going to be loud, whatever you think loud is. So you're starting out soft. And then you end it loud. You decide what soft and loud are. Then speed, they could say seriously. Okay, let's talk speed. Seriously is not a speed. But a lot of times in music, where they tell you, where they're supposed to tell you how fast to go, and that is right above the top staff at the beginning. It's, it's in the right place, but instead of telling you how fast to go, they give you the mood of the piece, and you have to decide how fast that is based on the mood. Well, this is seriously, whatever that is. So how fast would you go if you're serious about it? I have no idea, but that's it. It's a... Am I serious? Well, I, have, I need more coffee or something. It depends. I hesitate playing pieces in my videos for people 
because then you simply listen to me play it and say, oh, is that how it goes? Okay, and then you try and copy me. No, I don't want you to copy me. That's just one way of playing it. I want you to make it yours. You do what the music is telling you to do and you understand what the music is telling you to do and you make it yours. I can give you an idea of what it sounds like, but that's all. Don't copy me, please. Let's play this together slowly. Not going to do any of the dynamics. We're just doing notes and rhythms, just to make sure you have the notes and rhythms correct. Now, no hesitations anywhere, so I'll give us four counts. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two.